Hey folks, it's me again. It's day four here at camp. This is Wade. Say hello, Wade. Hello, Wade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nobody's ever done that before. That's really, that's really quite original. So listen, yeah. uh, how do we know each other? Uh, you were my scoutmaster for a number of years, and uh -huh. you gave me a lot of crap during that time. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you, brother. Um, what do you, what do you, what, uh, how are you involved with Camp Horseshoe? I am the aquatics director here, so I'm uh, responsible for a staff of 10 people and both the boat docks area and the pool. That's right. I, I asked Wade to sit down with me for a few minutes this morning on day four to uh, help me read some of the emails that you sent in. There you go, you start with that one. All right, so this is from Mike Frame. He is asking, what's the staff like? Are they fun? Do they have a favorite tradition at camp? All right, so... Uh, I'd say the staff is fun. I don't know. I mean, it depends who you are. Um, but no, we, we do have a lot of fun. My favorite tradition at camp, it's one of the lesser known position or traditions. Uh, what we like to do is we have uh, a watermelon down at the water carnival that we use for a game. And then afterwards, we take it out in the river and destroy it with new paddles. Uh, that's something that not many people know about. But we were, we were kind of hoping that the chapel service. Or, oh well, you know. I mean, <laughs> that's a lot of fun. But we also do, you know, marching every night, which is something that not many camps do. And when we talk to staff from other camps, they're like, wait, you march? That's yeah. that's kind of odd. And you worked at you you instructed at camp school this yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah, uh, up in Narrowsburg, New York, at Ten Mile River. Okay. Yeah. So what kind of you had a good experience with that? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a great experience uh, talking to other people from other camps. You know, seeing what they did there that's different from what we do here and it was very very interesting no, hey jake okay uh jake's going to join us again like he did yesterday uh jim woods said i had the privilege of helping out with archery this year at el Rancho chima sima sima i think Seema, I cockerel think. river camp i'd love to see some shooting sports areas at camp horseshoe if you get the chance we'll see if we can make that happen mm. for you jim Also, we're working up a video of Troop 469's trip to Evangeline Council's Swamp Base High Adventure Program. When it's done, I'd like to get it to you. Let me know the best way. Hey, send me a link. Put it online. Send me a link. I'd like to have a look at it. Yours in scouting, Jim Wood, Scoutmaster of Troop 469 in uh, Tomble, Texas. Uh, it's good to hear from you, Jim. What do you got? From Steve Vincent. Hi, Clark. Our troop just got back from camp. Shawanaki in Silver Lake, Silver Lake, California. We had a fantastic time. I did something new this year for the parents. I set up a Twitter feed at Troop22WLACC. I have to follow them and posted photos and tweets during the week. Parents loved the feed. They felt very connected to their scouts at camp and we started using the feed for our longer outings. Okay. Thanks. Have a great time years in scouting, Steve Vincent. So Steve Vincent is an assistant scoutmaster with Troop 22 in Woodland Hills, California. Wait, you're up. All right. So the next one I've got is from Megan Schiller. It says, hi, Clark. Thanks, Jake. Yep. Thanks for making the letters from summer camp. It's great to see the troop in Camp Horseshoe. Fred told me to. Fred told me how to find it. Will the polar bear swim be featured? Probably or, not. Or tubing on the river? Probably not. <laughs> oh, come on, that's aquatics. <laughs> Looking forward to my romper room shout out. Romper stopper, tell me to do magic mirror, blah, 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 and say, <laughs> I see Megan. So, hope that helps. Let's see here, I talked about Jim Woods. David Goldberg said, Hi Clark, thanks for uh, taking me and all of your followers along to summer camp. Hello followers. Uh, <laughs> it's been great to see you. Uh, it's been great to see you have a number of older boys along with you as a new scoutmaster. I tr struggle to get older boys to camp. They only want to do high adventures. Dang those older boys. Uh, leaving the younger boys on their own. Now we did great at camp last week. And uh, at uh, camp, all right, let's Ch work on this. Uh, Chawanaki. Chawanaki, yeah. Chawanaki. They won the Thumbstick Award. Yeah, how about oh. that? And Good David job. Goldenberg is the Scoutmaster of Troop 22. And uh, he is a Scoutmaster CG.com backer. And if you'd like to join the growing ranks of scouters all over the world who have become Scoutmaster CG.com backers, go to Scoutmaster CG.com and click the support link. How Shameless about plot. that? Shameless plug. Uh, let's see. Have another one. We did Stephen Vincent. You got yeah. another one? I, no, I did both of these. Uh, so how about one. that one? All right. So this is from Danny. Uh, Danny says, hey, great to see you guys at camp. We just finished up our summer camp on Sunday at Camp Rockefeller. The video blog makes a great letter, by the way. Anyway, have a great summer camp. We Thank are you, Danny. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Dim was David Goldenberg. Ray Britton says, I'm enjoying the letters from summer camp. Keep them coming. I had a question for you, and uh, summer camp may just... 
be the time to pose this question. What's the typical tenure of a scoutmaster? You know what, Ray? I did read. I read this earlier. I'm going to expand on that. Actually, I have a couple of posts uh, that are going to be dealing with that in the very near future. So I'm not going to try and answer the question right now, but uh, I've got it, and I will make sure to answer it. And uh, Ray Britton's an old pal uh, of the website, so thanks for getting in touch, Ray. And Ray is uh, a scoutmaster, he says, for now, of Troop 42 in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. <laughs> All right. You so know that name. Yes, John Punt. Hey, uh, John. How's it going? So this says, hey, Clark, great to see these spots. Brings back some good, okay, mostly good, except for that norovirus thing, memories. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the norovirus Oh, thing? I remember. So John Punt was an assistant scoutmaster with the troop <laughs> for a period of time, and he got to come down to camp and is now off in uh, some uh, one of the mid-states that I can't remember, Minnesota or something like that. Uh, sorry, John. Jackson, <laughs> Jackson, how you doing? Jackson was one of my scouts, and he's an Eagle Scout now. Did you know Really? That? No yeah. way. way. Good job, Jackson. Man, uh, I remember him joining the troop. Yeah. That's great. So, uh, let's see, uh, Merrick Fosendeck, or Fosendeck, sorry, Merrick, he is, oh, wait oh, a minute. It's pronounced Fonsbeck, come on. Thanks, man. I appreciate that because I think I've read a couple of your emails and I've really destroyed your name. So let's start all over again. <laughs> Merrick Fonsbeck is with Troop 581 in Lehigh, Utah, and he th says, I hope things are going well at Scout Camp. I just come back from running an MYLT course last week myself. I hope you don't mind. I didn't get around to asking your permission before I left for camp, but I took some of your podcast jokes to camp. That is really dangerous. Ooh, uh -oh. That's really dangerous. Heart I don't mind, that good. but it's really dangerous thing to do. Um, as you can probably guess, I received a lot of eye rolls and groans. <laughs> well, that's what they're designed to create. So um, I guess you could say that it's better to ask forgiveness than ask permission. That is one of my watchwords in life, Merrick. You're correct. Uh, it was a fun time for me. Um, enjoy your time. I'll be waiting for a podcast when you return. I'm finally caught up and have listened to all 230 podcasts since last November. Have you been doing anything else? Uh, <laughs> take car, take Claire. I've lost the, the power lost of speech You're altogether. Done. But take care, America. Thanks. And once again, Troop 581 in Lehigh, Utah. Uh, let's see, where were we? All right, so Jeff Ball, uh, he sent us a letter and it says, Thanks for the letters from camp. I just happened to look at this camp the other day as an option for our troop, so your videos couldn't be more timely. How about that? <laughs> I, I'd be curious to hear how the quality of first year program is, as I was somewhat disappointed with the camp we attended this summer. I'm also interested in any feedback you might have on the older boy program, since that was one of the features that caught my eye as well. Okay, so, um, feedback, uh, the camp we attended this summer. The, so the, um, the first thing is the first year program. Yes. All right. I think we can help you with that, Jeff. Mm -hmm. I think so. Look in the magic mirror. Ah, interesting. And then, uh, let's see, any feedback you might older have on the Older Boy program. Yep. I think we can help you with that too, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Magic mirror. <laughs> um, anything else from Jeff? Uh, I love that dining hall. Thanks for doing this. It's a great way to see another camp. Years in scouting, Jeff Ball, Troop 913 Scoutmaster from Herndon, Virginia. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks for being in touch. You can get in touch with me, too. You can email me by going to the post that contains this video on scoutmastercg.com, and you'll get instructions about how to send me an email just like this down here at camp. Like this. And look at all the wonderful emails. <clears throat> so, Trip Wyckoff got in touch. Love the daily videos. Got back from Camp Daniel Boone early in the summer from the lovely Camp Walwood in Florida. You ever thought about getting posts from the various camps and integrating them into the montage each week? Yes, thought about it just now. Uh, I really appreciate uh, your take on scouting your suggested work boy led troop. I would love to see one of your PLCs in action. You know what? I filmed one just the other night. I'm going to see if I can make it fit into uh, one of these videos. I'm coming into scouting without the benefit of having been a scout. And I can't tell you how valuable it's been to me. Well, thanks so much, Trip. Keep up the great work and keep the videos coming. Here it is, okay? What can I... I have to give and give and give. That's what it is. This is Fred, by the way. Say hello, Fred. Hello, everybody. Fred's actual assistant scoutmaster. Uh, so read Stephen Jarvis's email there. <clears throat> Hey Clark, my son Daniel and I are enjoying watching the video, uh, your video letters from camp this week. I need more videos to watch since I'm laid up with a broken foot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am laughing at your misfortune, Stephen. Sorry. Uh, he broke his foot while fishing uh, on a troop camp out a couple weeks ago. Oh no! So, 
You should be out of uh, the cast uh, by the fall camping, though. Oh, good, good, so. good, good. Let's see. We go to summer camp early in the south, and we attended camp or in the beautiful Buffalo National River in Arkansas, West Ark Area Council, in June. It was Daniel's first year at summer camp and uh, after crossing over in February, and he gave it a 9.5 out of 10. So I guess he enjoyed That's it. That's pretty good. That is a pretty good score, especially from a first-year camper, right? Indeed. Uh, thanks for letting us peek into life at Camp Horseshoe. And Stephen Jarvis is assistant scoutmaster with Troop 102 in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Let's see. Oh, okay, Steve Fox got in touch. I see that your troop has opted for eating in the dining hall. Yes, that's mm -hmm. what they do in the dining hall. Our troop uh, does our own cooking at Camp Liberty at Heritage Scout Reservation in Farmington, PA every year. We find the meal prep and cleanup to be one of the most valuable skill building and teamwork uh, promoting parts of the whole week. Yes, different strokes for different folks. It, it uh, certainly can be a choice. Given the popularity of troops opting for dining halls, there has to be an upside to that experience we're missing. Can we talk about it a bit? Thanks for all you do in scouting. I can talk about anything a bit. Yes, sir, I can. Uh, so that's Steve Fox, who's an assistant scoutmaster with Troop 1434. But as far as the skill building teamwork type of thing, well, it's kind of up to you, isn't it? It depends on how you handle whatever situation you find yourself in. If you're a clever scoutmaster, you can make sure that the boys are getting a full exposure to the opportunities of building teamwork, building and developing skills, no matter where you end up. So uh, the program is certainly important, and I know we find at Horseshoe that there's plenty of opportunities for that. And uh, if it's uh, a certain set of skills that you want to build, hurry up, Jake, and you can be in this if you hurry. Um, there's a, if there's a certain set of skills you want to build around cooking skills and everything and uh, the teamwork skills, I certainly recommend a um, self-cooking setup, too. Um, we just ended up here in, uh, as a troop in 19, probably 48, and we never left. <laughs> Literally never left. We live here all year long. 360. No, we don't. Hey, Jake's back. Say hey. hello, Jake. What's up? Thank you very much. This was day four. Until next time, everybody. Nah. 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 <laughs> Two men saw. This is the Horseshoe Weather Patrol. Yep. Uh, this is considered, uh, this is what we would call somewhere light to a moderate rain. Um, Lightning is a feature that we try and get at least once a week for the boys. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing there, Jake? What are you up to? I'm just going to set up a timeline. That I thought would be pretty cool. But I think that might be. Now, I think there was a question. Was there a question in the email today about what we were using as a GoPro? Yeah, we're using a GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition. Uh, yeah. What he said. A GoPro. And. Uh, as long as you're near or inside a building, I kind of enjoy this. Oh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure I closed my tent flap. I sure hope I did. I hope you did, too. That was a beaut. That was a beaut. Did you hear that? There you go. Ah. <laughs> All right. <laughs>